All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my tutorial for how to download mods on Xenoverse 2. This is going to be the very easy to understand installation tutorial. They're not going to go into any things about how stuff works or whatnot. I'm just going to show you everything that you need to download mods on Xenoverse 2. So what you're going to need here is you're going to need this 7-zip extractor. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description, and I'm going to show you how to download it in this tutorial. And you're going to need a file to put stuff in and just to just to work it makes uh, yeah just to move stuff around it makes it much easier to install mods and you're going to need a file to put all your mods in once you're done with them you'll see why in a second all right so what we're going to be downloading here is the new transformations mod by lazy bones this is the most common one that everyone uses it's literally the most downloaded mod on xenoversemods.com i'm pretty sure i think that's over 700,000. All right, so you're going to hit download on the mod website itself. That might be here on the side, the right, cor right corner here, or it might be at the very bottom of the page. It depends what kind of monitor you have. What it's going to do is it's going to take you to mega.nz, and it's going to have a, a little box that looks something like this. This is going to say download, not save. The only reason I downloaded before this is because it's a very large file, and I didn't feel like waiting 10 minutes for it to download. So. Here we go. We got it right here. It's going to show up there. It's also going to show up in your downloads f uh, file on your computer. That's really easy to find. I'll show you how to get to there. I'm going to link this in the description. You're going to want to make sure you download the installer and the latest version of the XV2 patcher. And the reason being, this is something very important by the way, if the game, if Xenoverse itself gets an update, mods will not work on it at all if you have the previous version of the of the of the patcher you have to have the latest version of the patcher for that to work it can take a day or two to update after the after xenoverse itself updates but you want to make sure that you always have the latest version of this patcher so just make sure you remember this step so you want to download the patcher download the e installer and then you're going to need this 7-zip extractor, this exact one. You're going to want either the 64-bit or the 32-bit. It depends what kind of uh, OS you have. I have a 64-bit OS, so I need to download the 64-bit one. I already have it, so I'm not going to do it again. So you're going to want to go to your downloads folder. It's just in the uh, in your uh, computer files right there. You're just going to want to click on it once and drag it down here where we can work with it. And then from here on, you can close that. I don't think you're going to need it again. Oh, wait, no, you will need it to go to the game directory yet. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So next you're going to, if it's if it's blank like this, you have to left click and then right click and then 7-zip extractor. You're going to extract it to itself with the 7-zip extractor. And it should do it automatically like that. If it shows something else that says extract to all, then you click extract to all. So then you're going to get rid of this. You don't need this anymore. That's why I said make this uh, make a file to put everything in at the end because you're gonna want to get rid of stuff, uh, but keep the original. That's the that's the trick. You have to keep the originals for everything. Otherwise, if you have to download everything again, it's gonna be just a big major pain. So next, all you need to do is open up the file itself. It's gonna take you to this is everything you need. Honestly, everything you need is right here. So you're gonna put this in your game directory, and to get there. Go to your file explorer, go to your local disk. It's got to be your local disk, your C drive. That's the only place you're going to find it unless you moved unless you moved the location where your game is. If you moved it, then, well, then it's going to be wherever you moved it. You know, program files 86. I don't know why I did that. Steam. Okay, my computer is being really fun. Steam. Steam apps. Common. Dragon Ball Universe 2. And this folder right here is where you're going to put the new transformations file. Alright, so once you're in your common game directory area, you're going to grab the new transformations file, and you're going to move it to Xenoverse 2, and it'll automatically move itself to where it has to be. I'm not going to do that because I already did. And then, from there on out, you're not going to need this anymore. You can get rid of that. So next, you have to download the installer. After you've downloaded your installer and your patcher, you got to make sure you have the latest version of the patcher. You're going to 7-zip extract them to themselves again, both of them, 7-zip, extract to XV2 patcher. Now those two things should be, the extracted forms should be right here, so you can get rid of these compressed files. You don't need those anymore. Okay, so you're just going to go to your common directory here for Xenoverse 2. You're going to take the installer and you're just going to drop it in there. Just click, drag and drop. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. 
And then for the XV2 patcher, you're going to double click that. I think all you need is the bin and XV2 patcher. You don't need anything other than this. You can, you can take the extensions. They're optional. You don't need them, but you can take them. So what I would suggest is you just grab the bin and the patcher. I'm just going to drag and drop to Xenoverse 2. I'm not going to do that again because I already did. Again, this patcher extension is optional. So you're not going to need this anymore. So you can put that in. Actually, you can just outright delete this because it doesn't even have all the files in it anymore. So you can just straight up delete that. All right. So now that you have the installer and the patcher and the transformations file, what you're going to want to do is click transformations and you're going to go to the installer right here. All right. So it's going to bring you to a little pop up like this. I'm just curious. Can I expand it at all? No, I can't. OK, this this is your game directory right here. This needs to be. Uh, this actually it has to be this this right here this same spot so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click browse you're gonna make sure you're in your local drive your local C disk program files steam uh, steam apps common Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and that's all there is to it. it you just have to make sure you click on Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 because that's where it's gonna install everything so you just need to remember how to do that path because every single time you install something that asks you for a directory path, you're going to have to do that. So you're just going to select that folder. It's going to show program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Universe 2. Right, so I already installed this, so I would just be reinstalling it. It's going to take you to this. This is what you're going to get on the very first time you install this. So it's going to take you to your aura. You can choose whatever you want. I just prefer the anime ones. All right, so next is UI Auto Dodge Mode. My personal recommendation is that you choose data input. You can choose whichever one you want, but even if you choose the low stamina drain and get hit with something like Super Kamehameha, it'll still drain all your stamina. Okay, Kyle can health drain. You can choose whatever you want for that. And then hair change. Now, for the sake of the demonstration, you're just going to click none. And I, I said I wouldn't get super technical with anything, so you're just going to click none. Install tail animations. If you have, if you have animated tails, uh, sure then install those. Next, ready to install, you're going to hit next and it's going to install it for you on its own. So now that is all you have to do with this. You don't need to go into that anymore unless you're reinstalling the mods. After you're done using the installer, you're going to want to go to no hair change transformations because that is the one that we picked. And now from this point forwards, you can pick whatever you want. So I'm going to go with normal just because the moveset swapping transformations tend to have a bit of a problem loading on certain models. So you might not want to use this one necessarily unless you're really good at modding. So I would go to normal and then no health requirements. If you want no health requirements for Super Saiyan or for Ultra Instinct. If you don't want to have to be at low health for Ultra Instinct, this is the one that you'd use. You'd use any of these here. Uh, I'm pretty sure these don't work very well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these two don't work very well for whatever reason. Um, but you can, you can try them if you want, but they probably won't work. Uh, and then all you need to do is just install whichever versions of the mods you want. Your Super Saiyan 4 variants, your non-Super Saiyan 4 variants. I personally like it. It's a cool transformation. But uh, if you don't like it, then yeah, you don't have to download it. Then you have all your different variants. These are the two most common ones that people tend to use. And then there's a couple other ones in here yet as well. I'll let you guys take a look around at that. You can install whatever you want. You just double click it and then click yes. To actually launch the game now, you're going to have to go to your directory here, bin, and you're going to click Xenoverse 2. You're not going to click, you're not going to click start, because that's not going to work, because I don't know why, it just doesn't work. Alright, so we're in the game here itself, so it's going to launch without easy anti-cheat, so you're not going to be able to go online with any mods. That is how it's supposed to work, uh, you just can't play online with mods. If you want to figure out how to do that, you have to do it by yourself. I'm not going to show you how to do that, A, because I don't know how to, and B, because you're not supposed to. Alright, so once you've loaded into the game here, you're going to want to go over to the skill shop, because that is where you buy all of the mods that you install. So then after installing it and buying it from the store, that is literally all there is to it. Now you just have to equip it and then use it, and that is all, yeah, that is as easy as it gets for installing mods. Install it, buy it from the store, use it, they all work exactly the same. Um, but yeah, just for the sake of showing you that they do work properly. I'm going to cycle through all of them really quickly because I installed it exactly how you should have hopefully installed it. 
So if it doesn't work, then just go through the video again, make sure you do everything exactly how uh, I lay it out for you. And here we go, we're just gonna go through them real quick. So we have Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3. The, this hair, by the way, does not come with Lazy Bones Transformations mod. That you have to install after the fact. Same with the Super Saiyan 4 model, you have to install all that after the fact. The hair is only different. The hair is just going to look like your stock CAC hair, whatever that is. Same with the auras here, this aura is only different because I installed a different aura. The mod does not come with this, just a really quick disclaimer. But anyways, here we go, the Kaioken, Kaioken times 10, Kaioken times 20, Ultra Instinct. And finally, Mastered Ultra Instinct. And there you have it folks, that is everything you need to know for downloading mods in Xenoverse 2. I hope this tutorial helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and a comment, and even if it didn't, please do comment down below, tell me what I might have done wrong, and I will do a slightly more complex version of the same tutorial in the future. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, I will see you in another video.